Shut the f up. <laughs> Somebody call me who I'm leaving. So, your career in general, yeah? Right. I have to rate you as a black woman, you Thank know? You. You, the black women always find it harder, they struggle, yeah. you know, because they got to go through the fucking trenches. So, I've known you from, well, I knew, I knew you from when you used to do radio from time ago, yeah? Um, yeah, Pulse FM, big up Pulse FM. And then from there, you started doing shows, was it Headscarf? Headscarf Diving, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sh uh, then you did, um, what else did you do? You did loads of things. I did, like, like yeah, Headscarf Diaries, and I started doing, like, ZZ Mill shows. ZZ Mill show. And then I started, yeah, that's, yeah, kind of took off from there. And then you, you finally went on Big Brother. The big Brother. Celebrity Big Brother. Celebrity Don't say big just Big Brother. Celebrity. Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. That's our next level now. So you've grafted. I am. How was Celebrity Big Brother for you? It was one of the best experiences ever. Really? Like, seriously, it was, it was hard, don't get me wrong, yeah. like, very mentally challenging, mm. and physically as well sometimes, because you would be tired. But honestly, one of the best experiences wow. I've done. Like, Wicked. you'll never, you'll never, like, and I've grown up watching Big Brother. Yeah. I've watched it growing up, the normal one, the celebrity uh -huh. one, and then kind of to be on it and then to be on the celebrity one, it was very surreal. surreal. So yeah. surreal. It was just it like, must what have the been. hell? But you've also done programmes like Grange Hill, was it Grange? Or, Not uh, me. No, Harry Potter. Harry sorry. Potter. Harry Potter, yeah, my bad. I did yeah. like, no, sorry. I did, um, yeah, I did like um, acting, because that's what yeah. I originally wanted to do, was the acting. That's, and then it. It that's you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it was a bit, you know how it goes. It's yeah, very it's difficult and it's tricky. very, yeah. yeah. And um, I was doing that from young. That was like, yeah. That's what I, my mum said I've always wanted to do. She yeah. said like, when I was four, I was like, I want to be an actress. And, yeah. I, and then from then, she kind of just put me through all the necessary stuff that I needed to do to do it. Yeah. Brit school? I didn't go to Brit school. Oh. I tried to get into but I didn't. And yeah. then I ended up, so I went to Sylvia Young, which Sylvia is like Young, a, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She yeah. didn't she? No, that's Anna Shear. Anna Shear oh, yeah, passed away, unfortunately. So, so, um, so, but what I didn't like about Big Brother was how Louis was trying to portray. Oh, right. And I didn't like this, your feisty yeah, business. Yeah, that, some of that really pissed me off. Yeah. Was it the edit or was that how it actually was? Oh, no, that was how it was in the house. Yeah, yeah, Stereotype. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey. That, that's, uh, that's what I mean, that's how it was. I rate you for not flipping. That's a, but that's what it, that's why it was challenging because also you knew you felt you knew you know as like a black woman you know you, feel you can it. feel you from the big you know little microaggressions you hear them yeah. you're just like whatever but then you're also aware of mm -mm. not feeling like you're also aware of who's watching yeah and you're also aware of the audience that are watching so don't take the beat yes right, so you mm -hmm. kind of don't want to what was nice is the fact that I didn't have to ever kind of say, like, I feel like you're being like this to me because I'm a black woman. It was yeah. just clear for everyone to see. Everyone yeah, saw yeah, it. So yeah. that's what really was... At, when I came out and I was, like, reading the comments, because I know sometimes every, when these things happen, everyone's so quick to be like, oh, she's just, it's just a race card. Why yeah, are you playing right, the race yeah, yeah. card? Why but you didn't have to say nothing. People, but, yeah, the fact that mm. people could see it, mm. and I think what was, in a weird way, what was nice about it was this is what black women outside of the house, go through every day. Yeah. In the workplace, little yeah. microaggressions, mm. people do it, say little snidey All things. The time. And you can't really say nothing because now you're going to be called aggressive. So you have yeah. to just kind of be like... They never understand. Navigate your... That's like every... That's black women at work. Or yeah. that have a professional job. They have to learn how to just be like, OK, carry on. Yeah. And uh, let me do this. And, and then someone else will tell you, oh, no, if that's just the way he is. Yeah. And because that was it with what they were saying about Lou. Oh, that's just the way he is. No. And then in your head, you're like, no, no but no. it's not yeah, right. That's not, like, yeah. It doesn't yeah. make sense. But, you know, so, yeah, but then what was so... I was saying to my friend literally last night, what was such a mindfuck as well is that you are spending 24 hours with somebody. Mm. So, yes, he is that. But then he also, we would have really nice moments together. Yeah. So it's such a weird thing because so it's, it's like ignorant. it's like your manager at work, they could be so horrible to you. Yeah. But then maybe if you spent 24 hours in that home, you'll you'd be you would another side, another side to yeah. them. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. so weird because you'll be like, one minute he'll be like, say something, and then the next minute we right. literally will be like crying about our grands. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was such a weird thing. Do you know what's mad though, yeah? And this is what people don't understand. And that unless you're black or a person of colour, you don't get it. I don't care what people want to say. You know, like your intuition. You always know. Yeah, 100%. of course. You always know. Yeah. This what? ain't 
You're, you're, I know why you're fucking doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know why you're fucking doing this, Louis. <laughs> yeah. But you can't say that. No, but you got thing, to smile and nod in yeah, it. But, yeah. that's the, but the thing is with that as well is you're trying to understand, you're trying to figure out, are you just like this or do you not know any better, better mm, yeah, yeah. because of the eight, the era you came from? Mm. He's Louis 70. I know. So you're like, you're trying, it's almost Ignorance. like you're trying to beat out the the things that they shouldn't say. Yeah. But then there were parts, like there, I was told that there were parts where he would say stuff like, well, you know, we can't say nothing or stuff oh, like that. I don't yeah. like, we can't say that about them or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So my thing is, is like, you can't, they, they're obviously aware oh, that you have to be a little out. bit more woke, but they yeah. woke, but they don't understand why. Yeah. Like if you say to Louis, what you're doing now is, is just mad. Yeah. Like you are the, the, he will, in his soul, believe. And that's when I thought, yeah, you're actually, I literally saw something the other day, it's like, if you argue with everything, you will just be, you will feel heavy. Yeah. And that's why even sometimes when, when I used to be online and obviously I still give my opinion, but there'll be time now, I, not as much because you literally start taking on everyone's, everyone's like team. energy and you start yeah. feeling heavy yeah. and you're just like, no, yeah. like you come online and you're just, and so you just sometimes you have to be like, yeah. I believe it. you there, like, it is what it is. And that's why I've got to rate you, because I'll be honest, and this is why, you see Percy? Percy's got the perfect balance of people know who he is, but without having to deal with right, right, the yeah. foolishness that comes off the back of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you see, like, if you put something out that people don't like, this is one of the things that I didn't like about social media. I'm, like, a bit older, and you wouldn't say certain things to my face. Right, yeah, 100%. Yeah. So... But now you're online now, and people, they will bait other people. So someone says something, now give them strength for, some, for <laughs> someone else to say it. Now, and I'm, I used to cuss Chris all the time. Chris, I said, don't rise to it, Chris. Chris, <laughs> But when you're rise. in it, that's Yo, it. when you're in when it, you're in it's it. so hard. Hey, you cuss off the person Listen. online, and I had to send in the picture, I thought you weren't. <laughs> yeah, the way, brother, the first thing I done, you know, was press the A twice, you know, the, to get the capital letters. <laughs> Post <Pussy> one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the channel my person, you know. <laughs> Listen, you look a matty fierce boy. I You get, you literally get it like... It mad. You, you get sucked into it yes. so much. They draw you, man. And you're like... They you, control you, you. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they know. Yeah. And that's why sometimes you have to just be like, I can't would even... You, would them. you go on Big Brother? No. No. I wouldn't go and say, uh, do you know what it is? I know I, Percy wouldn't. Percy could <laughs> never go and... I would. You'd go and celebrate Big yeah, Brother. I'll go, I'll go. How do you think you'd come across, though? I'll be liked. I'm always liked. Yeah, but, yeah, but, I right. can team up with anyone. Yeah, that's the thing. Like but Chris... I, I'm going to make combination with everyone. Can I say, I think that you could go on there and do really well, yeah? Like, you'd be really liked. But would you have to do it at the cost of... Like, see, like, if Louis yeah, was doing what like he was doing. selling out, yeah. Not selling out, but, he like... Can't well you you couldn't hold your mouth. You're right, you're, you're right. You're right. Too easy. You're right. You but the thing is, mouth. I don't, I can't, feel, I don't no, feel like I ever held my mouth with Louis. No, I don't think you did. I just... Um, you just done it the right it way. in the yeah. way that it was... Ne it, you it, can do that. The, I, I can, can, I can. To let him palatable for everybody to make yeah, like, I told you a story. Right. But, that's, but that's what I was saying. I think that that's not anything unusual mm. because I've worked You're in, used to that. Yeah, yeah, and also because I've actually... Before the ZZ Mill stuff, I had a quote-unquote normal life. I worked normal jobs. Yeah. I worked in Marks and Spencer for 10 years. I worked in offices. I've mm. done marketing. I've done whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I've had... I've been yeah, in ambitious. Huh? She's yeah, ambitious. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I've been in... Me I've been... I've had to, like, communicate with... When I'm behind the... As in, I'm not... I'm, so I'm not known as ZZ. I'm, I'm, I'm known in that environment as Zalika. So I have to... I'm liaising okay. with you know, the head of the National Theatre. So I have to learn Salika, those right. time of things. You have to learn, like when you're in those, you have to learn how to navigate different people. Yeah, yeah. Of course. So then when you go into these actual things like Big Brother, it's normal, it's normal because like in your everyday well, life, I mean. I, yeah. I'm, na I'm navigating, oh, actually, um, you was really rude to me, yeah. but I actually, if I pop off on you, I will actually lose my job. So yeah. or I, or I'm going to be seen as the angry black woman. So you learn how to be like, well, actually, the way you spoke, did, 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 you learn how to... I would to, be like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, would I would. Pop off. Bro, yeah. Yeah, I, I love that. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I would is, be like that. You see, back in my ideas, we know no tolerance. I, I would be. You I know, know what? I'll know. I, I tell you why I would be like that, yeah? Because I, like Zizi, deal with professionals on a daily. I'll give you an example. Don't laugh. I'll give you an example. One guy came in, yeah? He's a park owner. I was training my clients in the park. 
the man rolled past every single white person in that park and he come up to me and said, you do know we close in an hour? And I said, yeah, no problem. I'm going to finish. Um, I'll probably be finished in about half an hour before the park closes. And he's like, OK, I'm just letting you know. And then he rolled off. It was on his little, I think he was like disabled. So you never broke his him tire? No, and then my client, my client who's white. <laughs> I should have bust his tire, really. On the, the, no, the, the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Uncle Percy. But then, but, then my client, but then my client turned around. Again, they, a lot of white people don't actually see this. They think we're talking shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah. said, why did he just say that to you? And I looked at her and I went, well, it happens all the time. And then she went, Oh my God! She started to cry. Oh yeah. my. She cried because she couldn't believe. But, be, but when they don't the see it, yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't realize. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I held my call. I just want to let you guys know that the Rated 18 podcast is the number one fastest growing podcast mm -hmm. in the UK. Done at the moment, and it's official. So it's official, man. So big up Christopher Savage. I know the team. Big up Uncle Percy. Tell you, if you big up yourself. Mm -hmm. Kane Brown, guys, thank you very much. If you want to become a Ray team. Guys, make sure you sign up. Let me just tell you what you get when you sign up to our Patreon. Let me just explain to you. We've done 30, 30 episodes now. 30. 30 episodes, you get all of those episodes full. in full. So you get the whole hour and a half, two hours, two hours 15. You get bonus episodes as well. All of them are on there from the beginning up until now. There's going to be, oh, actually, we're going to be doing our live shows as well coming up soon in theatres. Mm. What do you mean live in theatre? Live, we're going to be live. We're going to the cinema. Yeah, it's, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> the cinema. Yeah. Theatre. And then, so, and, but with that, when you sign up to the Patreon, you will get first options to buy tickets. So basically, you sign up. First get, dibs, isn't it? Yeah, first dibs. So then you'll be able to, you'll be in the same building as Uncle Percy. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. I go and cast the whole lot of uno. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Actually, that's a bad idea, you know? I'm not going to lie to you, you know? Yeah, yeah, no because way. it's going to be wicked to everybody. <laughs> he's gonna really cast... unleash me upon the public. He's going to cast everybody. Hey, we need some of them drinks, though, Uncle Percy. That's a good point. They're, they're oh, desperate yeah. for your drink. Yes, sir. So you can sell them. them. Listen to me. I might give you a surprise and bring down the tips in this. Oh, mm -hmm. right. OK. And the tropical kick. Yes, man. The whole lot of uno, your teeth. <laughs> I told you, didn't it? Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for supporting, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, people.